As Montessorians, what we share is the, the deep respect for observation. We know what the, the child needs in materials, and we provide those. They almost have to be changed weekly because the development is changing so quickly. And I think any Montessorian will say they wake up in the middle of the night thinking, that's what they need, that's what I saw today, that's what they're doing. takes a lot of flexibility because the developmental stages go so quickly and they have to be very aware of the developmental stages as they come on an individual basis and often that takes a lot of observation skills. Carol Lee Watt has been a Montessori directress since 1978 and has been a head of school for many years. More recently, she has spent many hours serving as an infant toddler assistant at Hope Montessori Infant Toddler Community in St. Louis, Missouri. In this program, there are nine individual segments that combine background on infant and toddler development with specific tasks that an assistant needs to carry out. Watch each section and then pause to take notes on the assistant notes sheet provided. Also, write down your own questions to discuss with your directress. The DVD has a series of review slides of these screens for more detailed information. An assistant in a Montessori environment has a lot to learn from talking to and observing the directress. This DVD is an introduction to the knowledge necessary to become a high-quality Montessori assistant. The tasks in an infant room are somewhat different than in a toddler room. They work as a team with the director or the directress of the class. But in an infant class, it's probably more humble service than perhaps in the three to six where you're really more engaged with the children. Because in infancy, it really is an assistance to infancy. And that's what an assistant has to do, is just assist the developing infant from being cared for to a caring child. The infant and toddler is absorbing everything that goes on in the environment, from how we talk, to how we move, to how we respond to one another. That is why Montessorians say the most important part of the Montessori environment is the adult. This program will help you become an assistant who understands what the directress and the children need. Montessori emphasized that the classroom environment should be beautiful. The materials in the infant and toddler rooms are carefully chosen to draw the child's attention. Montessori emphasizes that infants and toddlers should be in environments that are child safe to encourage free movement. In the infant room, a variety of services from carpet to tile to wood stimulates the infant's sense of touch and challenges him to act on developing motor skills. The environment is age appropriate and designed to serve the needs of the child. Beds or soft areas are usually on the floor and accessible for the infants to choose when to take a nap. Toddler classrooms have tables and chairs that are toddler sized. Sinks are at the child's level to allow water play. The materials stimulate visual and auditory senses and challenge toddlers to develop their small motor and large motor skills. As part of your preparation to work in the classroom, take time to work with the materials yourself to better understand how each material is intended to assist the child's development. Answer these questions. What is this material? What can I do with this? What might a child learn? 
What might you learn from your observation of how the child uses the material? When the child is ready to take on new developmentally appropriate challenges, the environment can be adjusted to meet that need. In her research, Montessori found that many traditional toys were of little interest to children when they had the option to use materials that challenged them. Again, observation is a powerful tool in making the best choices for the students. I think there's always a jump to help. There's a jump to get in the middle of it. There's a jump to feeling responsible for what's going on. If you sit and watch, the children will show you what to do. They run the classroom. We are only there to support what's going on. If we observe something, we think about it, process it, and go back to the situation the next time and give suggestions. When a child is able to walk, the adults in the classroom do not carry him. When a child can stand, he is diapered standing. It is a good idea to sit low on a small chair or to sit on the floor nearer the child's level. When talking to a toddler, talk to them at eye level as much as possible. The children are all growing at their own pace. As infants become toddlers, they begin to watch and interact with each other, and they get to learn from each other.